Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engineer Hall. Today, we're going to take a look at a new product from Athlon under the Genesis lines, the SD70 ACE NS1112. All right. So, in this video today, we're going to unbox it, compare the model to the prototype. That's what we do on this channel. And we're going to install the decoder and we're going to install that speaker that we got from Yankee Dabbler. All the products you see in the video can be found at Yankee Dabbler, but you got to remember. It's open 24-7. If you it's not there by the time you see this video, somebody's probably aborted because there's some in the back. But anyway, so what you ever seen inside the SD70 ACE? Of course you haven't. But you know what? I'm going to show you what it looks like inside only because I'm sitting here waiting for another train and I just so happened to be uh, doing this project. So on this console I got today, I got the, the, the 1030 one and I got a, a 1070 there on the uh, high and then on the DP. So I'm not walking to the 1070. You know what the 1070 is, you know what it is. Well, I ain't walking back there, right? I'm sitting waiting for another train to come, swap out with, and go on about my day. So many little breaks. So let's take a look at this SD70 AC here. Let's take a look inside the SD70 AC. I got step in the cab here. That is the isolated cab from the rest of the locomotive. Anyway, here we got the bathroom. We step up the steps. Anyway, Conductor side got two seats here. His table, his radio, PTC screen. Now back here on later models, there's an emergency door. Just in case something happened, you can get out that way here. Back wall, you ain't gonna worry about none of that mess. Anyway, you got this row view cam. You got the cast in the tree. You got the camera watching me, watching you. You watching me, I'm watching you. Anyway, to come across here, we have the control stand, you know, all the information needed for the locomotive, how to do it. This is why that magic happens. Anyway, here's that brown you see on the cab control stand inside the models. That's the color, and that's what it looked like. So once again, I'm waiting for this other train to come, and it's not there. And uh, here's the view out the front of the locomotive there and the conductor side. You can see my conductor, he, he up there channeling for the other train to come. But this would look like inside the cab. Here's it finally showing up. Side. It's a DCC ready uh, locomotive. I don't remember the last time I had one, but you know, take a look again inside. So, okay, we got a spool of parts diagram here, the usual stuff, and we have a uh, newsletter and the limited warranty. Okay, so since we is DCC ready, it doesn't have that owner's manual. So, okay, cool. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got extra parts here. We got what, lift rings. This is like sand lines, rolling bearings, and something else. You can't tell. Okay, well, let's take a look at the good stuff here. All right, yep, let me sure I wasn't missing anything. Slide this bad boy out. Here we're comparing the model to the prototype. Here we have a picture of this uh, locomotive in July 19, 2015. Taking a look here on the conductor side of the locomotive, they have the PTC tenant right here on top. Got your long sunshade. Had a four bay uh, window here. It's good. You have the isolated cab as it here on the model. 
that grab bar right here on the side come down you, you appear to have the same event there as it is on the prototype engine number and the destination appears to be the correct location there uh, coming down well, we do have our label in here on the top left hand corner of that uh, cab there coming down had a toilet outlet vent your jacking pad then you have your PT I'm sorry you know your LSL light there you go in your truck light right next to it which is here on the locomotive looking at the uh, truck so you have a uh, two brake cylinders two brakes in the front not the one that rear truck but the model also comes with rotating bearing caps which is pretty cool uh, coming down more detail here with the uh, struts steps are yellow see-through as it is on the prototype and have a, a light there and this was here on the model also we do have labeling here with what appears to be the correct events as the um, prototype more lay on there on that vent also coming down looking good lay on there is the correct location you do have grab irons here that you climb up here get the access to this part of the locomotive which is here on the model Look, it appears to correct handrails for Southern in there with the labeling with two labels one, two, one, one, and two right here, right under the S and the U. Appears in the correct location. Coming down with the ER under there and the label by itself on that door. Cool. Coming across here on the radiator section here, big old radiator. Got the, all the vents and the grills. Get the labeling here on top of that door. Put the half on this door and the rest on this uh, panel here. Looks good. You got that detail as it is here on the prototype with the stenciling on top and the stenciling here on that uh, door. Now come down this rear truck here. Here's the two brake cylinders strut here on the lead and the trailing axle a compartment here with the label on it with the emergency shut off with the fuel inlet and the sight gauge or glass here um and of course you got the white line going through the tire uh, center sill and coming up top here have your two labels there where the air compressor is housed at here on the rear of the locomotive back in april 9 2015 having pictures of locomotive here uh, taking the top of the locomotive, we have a PTC antenna array here. But it looks a little different from the uh, prototype. But we'll find one that matches the prototype with the model here. Uh, coming across here, we do have three stats here. We have uh, lift rings here and a vent, which is here on the model. Got the exhaust port here. You got your horn. You got your detail um, as it is on the prototype. So before is the fan you have the um electric conduits here you can see at the detail here part and also you got the detail of the uh, bolts here that's it is on the prototype and also here you have your their silver grill on top of the air compressor and you have these four lift rings and also that grab bar in here on the Hood. Looking at this locomotive back in March 27, 2014, uh, take a look here. We have high mounted number boards and headlights here with two bulbs as the prototype come down. We have our grab irons here on both sides, and we have the white brow with the windshield wipers attached. Got four. When you look inside, it got that rail view camera as the prototype. Our sand filler hatches there, and we have our grab irons here on the Face the locomotive with a head in. Coming down to the door, we have a label here on the door. And the bottom one here also is there. Now you have this um, white label here that is representing the walkway light that it is here on the prototype. We have a pilot mounted dish lights there. And then we have our anti climber, have the uh, white around the center still there. Coming down, we have our electrical jumping cores there. We have MU clusters, will appears to be the correct plow with the yellow handrails or grab irons here on the plow and appears to be correct shape cut levers here uh coming out a little more in detail if you can see in there we do have our uh the little silver thing there we used that to jump the locomotives there if the batteries died so it is here on the uh, prototype and in the model you have a hot in the middle and a dummy on the outside and you have your um 
label in here as this pro prototype which mu calls this january 11 2016 uh, take a look what we got here so uh so we got our grab right here on the side at the label in here and got the flag holder as this on the prototype coming down you have your label in here under that uh step there with the painted yellow at the ends uh looking at the truck detail have your brake cylinders here on the first and the uh, second uh axle there got your e-bell which is there in the correct location at your truck lighting here and all next to that is the lsl light and the jack and pad detail here we do have your uh, party air system here party air dryer system and also have your uh outlet here piping but you still got the stuff that you can add to in there you don't have your sand uh, lines there is inside the uh, bag of parts uh coming up you have your label here and correct vents on the uh, battery box and you have your steps the two slats there Looks pretty good. Uh, also, you got your uh, electrical door there. Leave one there. Leave here also. It's the correct location. Looks pretty good. Of course, you got your lift rings here on the side. Also, you got your leave one here on the bottom of the doors. The correct location. The NS appears to be in the correct location. Let me see. That's the door. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good, good location there. Uh, Coming across here at the Right here section, you have your lift rings here on the model as is in the prototype with the uh, bolt detail, which is here. You can see there on the prototype uh, coming down. Of course, your labeling here is, is all here with that uh, a correct uh, handbrake wheel. And also, you can see through a uh, compressor uh, vent here. Well, the compressor is right there, but you can see through it. And uh, coming down here, or the rear truck, you got your brake cylinders here on the rear. The first truck doesn't have it. That's for the prototype. Got your air dryer, where it appears that we have all the correct, all the correct labeling on it. And then you got your uh, air reservoir. Got your short tank, and you got your big tank. Then you got your emergency shut off here, and you got your uh, inlet and your sight glass here. Appears to be all correct with the label on top of the emergency shut off there. This SD70 AC matches the prototype very, very well. I'm very pleased with uh, with the model. Looking at this locomotive, um, I, I got it because one, it did come in my area, and two, it used to run the 65Ws out of uh, Canada, New Jersey at a uh, one point. Two screws that held the coupler box and also the two screws that was um, this on the opposite ends there on next to the rear axle here now we're gonna lift up the shell nice and easy and gentle oh that's, that's cool oh look at that I don't wow I don't even have to add the uh, truck lights because they're already on there okay 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 that's something I gotta do I like that. So, you find this uh, part here for the speaker since it was a DCC ready. And this is the speaker housing that it came in here. So, I took it off with uh, two screws. And we're going to replace it with this guy here. And pretty much, you just literally take out the packaging, unravel the wires here, stick it in here. Put it back on a post. Get your screwdriver. These guys right here. And you screw it back in. Up next is to do some little wire management over here. It's going to take our positive and negatives here. Be very uh, careful, very delicate. And we want to, if you see that plus, 
S and S minus, then we're gonna stick our cores into there. So So here we have the center line to add it here on the locomotive. All right, we have it here on our test track. Let's see how we did it. Start it up. All right, start us some pictures over. Check out our lights. Some highlight. And we do have our number boys lit. Our six. That's our dish lights. Check the bell and horn. Alright, the fault is at uh, 5 seconds after you hit the horn. The fault, it goes into uh, the bird goes off. You see the air, hear the air compressor there working in the background. So Moving forward. Also with this uh, locomotive to check out our uh, with this lights here for the horse and we go for it. Also the truck light is under there, nice and uh, bright there, and it uh, turned out to be pretty good. So let's get on the Enage railroad, pull a couple cars around on the railroad. 